Everyone loves Sonic the Hedgehog. Even those who hate Sonic the Hedgehog love Sonic the Hedgehog. But even the universally adored Mr. T-Hog needs protection from perils such as spike pits, lava pits, and poor decision pits. This is where the Invincibility Monitor comes in. It makes anyone who uses it invulnerable to any kind of attack, but only for a short time. So, what is Invincibility? How does it work? And dude, where's my car? Let's find out in the science of power-ups. If invention is the mother of necessity, then the father is bone-idled laziness, as invincibility was invented entirely by accident, when a team of scientists, too lazy to walk to the kitchen, were attempted to use a particle accelerator to make toast. <laughs> the explosion resulted in invincibility bread, immune to buttering or biting. However, when in contact with living organisms, the nervous system is fired up like pong paddles with a thousand balls. So many balls. This creates an exponential resistance to all threats. With intense static electricity, creating sparkles that are deadly but fabulous, like a disco ball of doom. However, all good things must come to a cruel and sudden end. For many, this short-lived invincibility becomes extremely addictive. After all, how can you go from God mode to be immortal and not feel so weak, pathetic and defenseless? Especially when you can't afford to surround yourself with giant shields like me. My psychiatrist says I have a lot of issues, but I have an impenetrable fortress and a lot of money. So what does he know? Besides, that PhD won't help him in space. To combat this addiction problem, there are only two choices. Either find out how to extend the invincibility time period, or never use invincibility ever again. We here at the Science of Power-Ups believe that prevention is the best medicine. So, all those opposed to making invincibility last longer have been locked away in a room so they can't stop us. Now look who's crazy. <laughs> this is Volunteer 884, and he's here to help conduct a science experiment. Above him is an invincibility monitor, and above that is a second invincibility monitor, and above that there are several thousand more. Let's drop them all and see if this improves the invincibility time. As this will take a while, here's a loop of a dancing bunny rabbit. <laughs> look at him go. Oh, we're, uh, we're done. Uh, good stuff. Ahem. So, let's see how long this invincibility lasts this time. Uh, uh, mm. Cut back to the rabbit. <laughs> You're welcome, 884. Speaking as a people person, I can tell he is very grateful. And that concludes our study for now. For tonight's homework, this graph shows the impact of invincibility and its longevity. Assuming this remains a constant, how do I get out of this shield fortress? I have been trapped here for four months and I haven't eaten anything other than shoes.